What's up you guys? Welcome back to MJ Views. It's nice to see you guys back to my channel. Today is going to be a French Bulldog video. It's going to be the pros and cons of a French Bulldog. I recently did one of Usher and Shepherd, so if you are kind of looking for different type of dogs that you're choosing between, I guess, then you can go check out my Aussie video too, but for now we're going to do the French Bulldog video. I have my boy Rocket. I've had my French Bulldog for around two years and I feel like that's long enough. I feel like two years is long enough to figure out how the French Bulldog breed kind of works. I do feel like each breed is different in many ways. Obviously they're bred to do different things, but let's get started with the pros and cons. First I'm going to start off with the cons and the first con that I have is that they can be a pretty expensive breed. They're one of the most expensive breeds out there. They can range from the lowest being around $1,000 to the highest being like $20,000. It's ridiculous. If you're lucky and you know like a friend that breeds them, then you might find one for as cheap as $500 as we did with Rocket. Um, we got him from Mexico, so it's pretty cheap over there in Mexico. But I'm putting this on number one because if you're planning on getting a dog, I feel like this would be a big factor because it is pretty pricey and this can just check them off your list like instantly. With that being said, my second con is that they have a lot of health issues. So they're not only expensive to just buy them off the bat, they're going to be expensive if they have these health issues. Sometimes they're bred wrong. French Bulldogs can have a range of health issues if you don't take care of them. French Bulldogs health disorders can range from respiratory infections, joint problems, eye problems, even heart disease. Their main ones that they have are heat strokes, which are very common because of their short snouts. So that's just something to take account for because they are very sensitive. And if you don't take care of them, their vet bills are gonna be up the roof. My third con is that they are a stubborn breed. Well, in my personal experience, Rocket is very stubborn. He's not very motivated to learn how to do new tricks. He pretty much wants to just lay down all day and not be disturbed by anyone or anything. Um, they won't listen to you sometimes. Not only in trying to learn tricks, but let's say like we're calling him and he just kind of sits there and like, do I really need to go kind of thing. They're just very stubborn in a breed. I, in my personal experience, I don't know about you guys. If you guys have different experiences, of course, leave them in the comments down below. We love to hear different types of experiences with French Bulldogs, just help other people out. But yeah, in my experience, Rocket at least is super stubborn. He just... He's not up for it. My fourth con is that they do snore. And when I say they snore, they snore like an 80 year old man in a deep sleep. Like, that sounds terrifying, but it's so true. It's not just like, oh my dog is snoring, how cute. No, they are snoring so loud. And me personally, I hate the sound of snoring. It just drives me crazy. I just didn't know these dogs would do anything like that. So I was not expecting to get a snoring dog that sounds like an 80 year old man. So he's snoring like a 50 year old man. To take account also, they sleep a lot. So they're gonna snore more than often, maybe all day <laughs> if that's the case. But for me, I would wake up so many times at night just to be like, Rocket, stop snoring, dude. Cause they just wake you up and you when you're sleeping and you don't want to be woken up when you're sleeping. My fifth and final con is that they're a grassy breed. Sorry, don't mind Stella, she's itchy. And again, it's not just like, oh, he tooted. No, it's gonna stink up the whole room. There's been so many cases where Rocket just, I walk into the room and it's like, what the heck? Like, does someone throw a stink bomb in here? It is so bad. Um, and they do it often. They have very sensitive stomachs, so this is why they are very gassy. Maybe you can solve this problem by giving them, I don't know, find the secret ingredients of foods that won't make them gassy, but for the most part, they're gonna stink up the room more than once a day. So moving on to the pros. My first pro is that they're a low maintenance dog. They have short fur, so that means that bathing is easy, you don't even really have to brush them really. They don't require much exercise, of course it's really good for you to take them out on walks like once a day, but they won't require um, like 
a high amount of exercise like high energy dogs, Australian Shepherds and they're just gonna make your life easier. My second pro is that they're a very friendly breed. I feel like they're good for kids. They are really good family pets. They don't really do much. They can't really harm anyone except if they're aggressive which in my case I feel like that's very rare because they're just so friendly like they want to be with people. They love dogs and they just have a really good attitude overall. My third pro is their size. They're really small dogs. Um, they are really good for pretty much anywhere you live, apartment, a big house, a farm. They'll be there with you all the time. Doesn't matter because they fit anywhere. They're pretty small. They're not the smallest of the breed, of course, but they're small enough to take with you. And I just feel like that has to be a pro because I know a lot of people with big dogs can't take them anywhere. So you can take your French Bulldog anywhere. My fourth pro is that they're very quiet. Um, I know that can be a big factor because maybe your dog barks a lot, you're in an apartment, you get a lot of complaints, but this dog does not bark I want to say at all, only when necessary. One factor for that is they don't really have very good vocal cords, so they can't really bark at all. The funny thing about that is that they, when they do bark, it sounds so funny, but yeah, they're not really meant for barking. So my final pro is their temperament. They are very great dogs. They're just full of love and they want the affection from their family. They are just the most funniest dogs I've ever owned and they'll always put you in a good mood because I feel like that's their main purpose in life. You kind of just look at these dogs and you just want to smile because they're so dang cute and they don't even have to try. Um, and when they do try, it's even cuter. They're gonna make you laugh and they're gonna make you so happy. Be happy for the rest of the day and that's just something so good to have. You not only just love your dog and you will love your French Bulldog, it's inedible. But these dogs will always bring a smile to your face no matter what they're doing at any time of the day. And that's just something really that's just a really big pro. But yeah, besides that, that's basically all I have for the pros and cons of your French Bulldog. Now, you get to decide. I don't know if you're watching this, um, what is a pro and a con for these dogs. You might not know until you actually own one, but I'm here to kind of, but I'm here to kind of warn you about what may happen, so you're kind of ready for it. But I hope this video is very helpful for you in any type of way. If you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comments down below. I will, of course, answer them as fast as I could. If you like this video, don't forget to like, it'll help me out a lot. And check out my other videos on my channel, maybe you want to subscribe after that, I do post these informational videos about my dogs as well as vlogs if you guys are interested in that but besides that we'll catch you guys in the next one bye